Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. In today's video, I will be responding to a recent statement made by Muhammad Hijab regarding the Imam Mahdi. Let us first hear what he had to say. So too the Muslims have come together. And so too the Muslims will come together. Because it's in our ap apocalyptic texts that in fact at the end of days there will be a Mahdi, a man who brings us to victory. So when did the Muslims come together? Despite our dear Muslim brothers and sisters suffering persecution in Palestine, the Muslim sects did not come together. The Barelvis, Diobandis and Salafis still believe each other to be disbelievers. These sects also do the fear of the Shias. So which unity is Muhammad Hijab speaking of? The true unity is only possible through the Latter-day Messiah and Imam Mahdi, Hazrat Ahmed who united the true believers and brought them back to the true teachings of the Prophet Muhammad In fact, a few weeks after this statement of Muhammad Hijab, he contradicted himself. Let us see what he said in his discussion with the Shia regarding the Imam Mahdi. He says, no, uh, I don't, uh, sorry, yeah. he goes into hiding like your Mahdi. No, stop. He goes no, into no, hiding. No, 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 Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad. Shiru uh, your Mahdi. Your oh, Mahdi, yeah, whoever yeah. doesn't believe in Mahdi is a kafir. No, yeah, Imam but your Mahdi is not hiding. Just like he, your no, 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 just like, like no, no, just like, let me talk, let me talk, let me talk. No, Muhammad Hijab, let me talk. We don't believe in Mahdi, that's hiding. Muhammad Hijab, let me talk now, let me talk. We don't believe in Mahdi, Mahdi is not hiding. No, 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 Mahdi is not hiding. Okay, you talk, let me talk now. Our Mahdi is courageous. One second. Our Mahdi is courageous, your Mahdi is hiding. Ahmed, you're gonna talk, you're gonna no no let me no. talk. Where? Okay, don't come me, I'm gonna talk. Is he hiding? Or no? Is, he, hi is no, he hiding or not? Ahmed, has me alone. Is he hiding or not? No, let me talk. Is he like Dajjal? Like Dajjal hiding? Stuck. What what do you mean, Dajjal? Hiding or not? Ahmed, has me alone. Is he hiding or not? No, let me talk. Is he like Dajjal? Like Dajjal hiding? Stuck. What what do you mean, Dajjal? You so he compares the Shia Imam Mahdi to the Dajjal. Is this the unity Muhammad Hijab is speaking of? And just a few days ago, we heard Adnan Rashid, one of the famous Salafi scholars, make it openly clear that Shias are a separate religion and are non-Muslims. Bro brothers in humanity, not in deen. Absolutely not. Not in deen. The Shia deen is different to the deen of the Ahl Sunnah. What's the problem with that? What's the problem with that? Our sources are different. Our sources are completely different. Our source of knowledge and inspiration are different. As for the Imam Mahdi, according to the Quran and the Hadith, he would be rejected since he is someone who would be sent from Allah the Almighty. And the Quran makes it clear that all messengers and prophets are rejected. Secondly, the prophecies of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam make it Jews. clear that the Latter-day Ulama would be the worst of creatures. He wasallam made it explicitly clear that in the end times when the Latter-day Messiah and Mahdi comes, he would be rejected by the Ulama of that time since he described their horrible condition What did the Jews do? Did they accept Hazrat Isa or did they reject him? When we look at the prophecies of the Oliya, they further made it clear that the Latter-day Messiah would be rejected. For example, Mujaddid al-Thani writes that the Oliya had visions 
that when the Latter-day Messiah comes, the Muslim scholars would oppose him and say that we find him against the Quran and our Hadith. The same is said in the books of the Salafis and it is written that the Imam Mahdi would be rejected by the ulama and they would find him against the Quran and the Hadith. So which unity is Muhammad Hijab speaking of? The Muslim Ummah will continue to be divided and the only way unity is possible is through the true Imam Mahdi and Latter-day Messiah and his Khilafat. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notifications for every new video. Also make sure to like and comment on the video and follow on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> Salli ala Muhammadin Salli ala Tafiyyina Salli ala Muhammadin